Hi, and welcome to this training CD, Learning Autoplay Media Studio 5.0 Objects. So I'm just going to review here how we're going to proceed over the course of this CD. Uh, basically, we're going to be focusing on three different ways to do each task. So, in other words, if we're going to be learning to add objects to the canvas, we'll actually focus on three different ways you can do that. Um, if we're going to look at different ways to scale an object, then we're going to look at three different ways to do that. That's just the methodology we've chosen to construct this data. And I think over the course of the CD, you'll find that it, if you learn things this way, it actually gives you really good flexibility in your workflow, and you'll be able to get a lot done really fast. So hopefully by the time you finish this CD, you'll be working a lot faster and getting uh, much better results, and you'll be a lot happier with what you're doing. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to look at working with objects first, all the aspects of that, um, selecting them, adding them, moving them, editing them, and so forth. And then we're going to take a look at all the aspects of specific objects. And we're going to cover both versions, professional and standard. And then from there we'll move on to some example projects that demonstrate the things we've learned. And then we'll take a look at where to go next. So right now I'm just going to outline, we're going to go to the help file here in Autoplay Media Studio. And we're going to outline the difference between the objects and the versions. So we've got a little grid here that shows us that in Autoplay Media Studio 5.0 standard, we get the button, label, paragraph, image, flash, and video objects, whereas in the professional edition, we get those same objects, and in addition, we get a list box, input, hotspot, web, and pl plug-in objects. In this case, the plug-in object actually represents dozens and dozens of individual objects, so that's, that's quite a huge expansion there. Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to do here is we're going to set up a custom workspace so that we're all on the same page as we go through this CD. So let's all go to View, Workspace Layouts, Compact, and we'll click that, and it brings us here, and then we're just going to make a couple changes. We're going to get rid of this project size uh, pane down here for now so by pressing the little X in the corner. Then we're going to add View, Resource Preview, that's going to give us a live resource preview here in the bottom. And we are also going to add View Toolbars Alignment. So that's great. This is a good workspace for us to use as our starting point. And I'm going to, at this point, go to View, Save Layout. Now you can call this anything you want. I'm going to call mine Speedy. And I'm going to press OK. And there we go. So at the start of each lesson, we'll go to View, Workspace Layouts, Speedy, and this is where we'll start, and then we can be sure that we're on the same page together. And finally, I just wanted to mention real quickly that we've got a couple websites here to share with you. This is the website at www.indigorose.com, the makers of Autoplay Media Studio, and there's a whole bunch of great resources here, so it's worth going here and working through, and if you click up here on the user forum link, it actually takes you to a marvelous user forum here where you can come on in and basically get advice for all your projects and answers to your questions. Now, in addition to this, if you go to www.speedytraining.com, you'll be at our home site, and we've got a variety of CDs available for you here. So you're now viewing the CD on learning objects. In addition, we've got some other ones that are really great, and I think you'll really enjoy them. So you might want to come here and check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this CD-ROM, and we'll move on to Lesson 1 now.